good time being back in school, right, Beth? Yeah, I, we're celebrating back to school. It, it's been a little longer for me uh, since <laughs> I roamed the halls of a high school, but I would have loved to have had the set behind me when I was a high school student. I think, Leslie, you and I both participated in our school news programs. Uh, mine started in elementary school, so mm -hmm. to have this experience, practical experience, is pretty amazing. And you got to be a part of the video audio class here at Fulton, and yeah. you're bringing us the scoop. I am. <laughs> Usually students sit in these chairs that you see in the set behind us. So yesterday I got to catch them in action. Five, four, three, two. Inside Fulton High School's AV production class, these students are making headlines. Welcome to the Fulton High School announcements for Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. The program has been on the record since the school's beginning. Well, this is the 70th year of the radio station, so we're celebrating that. It's been a part of the school for as long as the school's been open. Through the decades, it has evolved, now featuring a new set, production room, and radio booth. Broadcasting from Fullcom, the School of Communications at Fulton High School. I think it's pretty unique. I've never seen something like it. I don't know any other school that has a set like this. Students record the daily school announcements, as well as get behind the mic for sports talk shows and on-site game day broadcasts. There's a lot of different opportunities, and, and one of the things I like to do is talk to students about what would you like to try to do. It allows them to experience being in front of the camera and working behind the scenes. Uh, right now I'm doing the graphics and that's pretty fun, but I also like working the soundboard. My favorite spot, I guess, would actually be doing the announcements. I do enjoy. It's a scary thing to come and do the announcements and know that everybody in the school is going to be watching it. Normally they'll be like pretty positive about it, but if they notice I stuttered even once, they'll start ripping me about it. <laughs> Three, two. And from the moment they enter the door at the start of the semester to the end, they undergo a big change. It's given me like real life skills that I'm probably, or not probably, but most likely going to use. And Mr. Mays is a great teacher as well. And when students come in here, they're a little apprehensive, they're a little scared. But the point when a student, it kind of clicks and they catch on that they can do that and you see that growth in confidence, I think that's one of the most rewarding things as a teacher. This is Falcon Radio, 91.1 WKCS.